Hi everyone, this is Atam Mansoor from Trax. I have done a video series on Harvard Business Review as well as Chicago Booth Review and uh, got a lot of positive feedback. So now I have decided to launch another video series on topics of uh, management and of uh, with topics on, on topics which can be of general interest to a wide range of people. And this is uh, the video series known as INSEAD Knowledge Video Series. As you know, INSEAD is a business school, one of the top business schools with campuses in France, uh, UAE, Abu Dhabi, and also Singapore. And it is well known for important for imparting very high quality business education. So let me share this screen for the new video series with you. All right, so I hope the screen is visible to you. So the topic or the article for today's video is deeper than deep seek China's AI ascendancy. So viewers, I've told you that uh, this series is known as NCR Knowledge and NCR Knowledge is a website. It's a, it's a rep repository of high quality articles and opinions by the, by the NCR Business School. And I have reviewed this article in this uh, today's video. Before I go into the detail of the article, I would request you to please subscribe to our channel. And as I've told you, I have playlists of Harvard Business Review as well as Chicago Booth Review. And now this is going to be the first video in the playlist for NCR. And then uh, the MIT Sloan Review video series is going to uh, be launched very soon. So this article uh, is written by Cheng, Cheng Yi Lin, uh, who is an affiliate professor of strategy at the business school. And he talks about the launch of DeepSeek, which was released in early 2025 this year, and which in fact uh, just sent massive shockwaves across the world of technology as well as stock markets. And we saw how the shares of chat GPT or the owner of ChatGPT, OpenAI, plummeted. Uh, Lynn talks about that uh, DeepSeek, in fact, DeepSeek's R1 model, which is an LLM, large language model, is at par, uh, if not better than the leading LLMs like GPT-4, Llama 3.1, and Claude. And moreover, he appreciates the less training time and data in addition to, uh, required to develop the model and in addition to the cheaper price for uh, for this model to be developed so lin asked uh, asks a question here and he he asked the question that could this be the start of accelerated ai development in china and then he answers them through uh, evidence and through a lot of analytical uh, evaluation of china's ecosystem especially AI ecosystem, because uh, these are LLMs, which uh, you can see in this screen, they are uh, based on AI technology. So he talks about the important or core components of the AI eco ecosystem in China, which uh, have positioned it to become a really uh, successful country in terms of AI domain. The first thing Professor Lin talks about is about is on the investment uh, in academic as well as applied research in China. And he says that since 2000s, China has substantially been increasing the investment in academic and applied research in AI. And there are ambitious Chinese goals and plans as far as state level is concerned. Uh, moreover, in terms of uh, higher education institutions, they have been leveraging on engineering and computer science expertise and increasing their investment in AI research. They have, besides that, expanded enrollment for AI-related courses and degrees. And one of the highlights of uh, investments, increase in investments in China is the uh, Chinese government venture funds, which have exceeded 912 billion US dollars in the past 20 years which are comparable to the US spending on all government industrial policies in the same period. This is massive. 
Uh, and finally, he says that AI-related firms across China were allocated 23% of this almost 1 trillion US dollars. The results have been discussed by Lin in this article, and he says that AI paper publications and patent filings have in surpassed uh, US since 2010s as a result of this um, uh, investment, massive investment. Moreover, the World Intellectual Property Organization has reported that for an almost 10 year period between 2014 and 2023, Chinese investors led AI patent filing, filing six times that of the US. However, Chinese uh, research is less noticed and underutilized than American research. Uh, Lin says that China's AI growth and digital ecosystem has been powered by this conscious investment in research and resources. And that is why these results, which you can see on the screen, and these have proven to be the key to establishing a sustainable competitive advantage for China in AI. The second thing which Professor Ling discusses in this article is about doubling down on talent development, which is uh, which has been identified as a critical resource for AI. Uh, China's, uh, China's tech giants have employed and developed thousands of programmers and data scientists in varied fields like e-commerce, gaming, and marketing over the last many years. Uh, China has uh, developed that uh, sustainable or kind of competitive advantage, which he calls that China has one-upped the US in producing AI talent and it uh, aims to add around half a million individuals to its AI pool, talent pool in the next, uh, in the next few years. Uh, he identifies the recent tech crackdown by the Chinese government, which has released many engineers from big companies like Alibaba, Tencent, and Beidou, which have joined, who have in fact joined a vibrant startup world to hone new inventions, and this could lead to more talent development in the domain of AI. Currently, uh, he has estimated that there are 1.6 million Chinese AI-related companies, out of which about quarter million were added in just the first half of 2024, which are just the six months. So just imagine half a million companies in six months only. Uh, private investment in China has followed the government-backed funding push for AI and digital technologies with private equity funds and VCs diverting their attention to cultivating new AI billion dollar or uh, companies or unicorns, which can also encourage talent development. The third thing about the AI ecosystem in China has been identified as turning constraints into opportunities. This is very interesting because usually constraints create a barrier and roadblocks in the progress towards uh, advancement or uh, moving uh, towards something in terms of pace and in terms of direction. But China, uh, although has faced a lot of constraints to, due to US government's ban on the export of chips since 2022, and also the migration of talent from China to US, but at the same time, China has not been bogged down by these constraints. Uh, big companies like SenseTime, Xiaomi, and Huawei uh, have been working on advancing AI hardware, including chip development, and companies like Alibaba and Tencent have made uh, continuous efforts to bring back AI talent after they are educated abroad. Moreover, companies like DeepSeek have approached these challenges as something which they, they, they would like to overcome. For example, uh, they have an uh, objective to develop a large language model that can run on old generation chips rather than just be dependent on the new generation chips. Again, Alibaba and Tencent have been discussed who have worked on another key challenge, which is that the high energy consumption usually uh, which is being done by LLMs, uh, Alibaba's Quinn, Quinn 2.5 turbo search engine is significantly cheaper in terms of energy consumption in comparison to 
GPT-4 Turbo. So China has been doing a lot of work to convert its constraints into opportunities. Moving on, uh, he also praises about the frugal innovation and its scaling up in China because China is a very big market, 1.4 billion people. And unless you scale up, you cannot succeed. Uh, so the speed of scaling depends heavily on price and quality and Chinese have been using it very skillfully. They have been competing to drive down costs while innovating on products and solutions. One example he has discussed is about the uh, shift of wind and solar industries to low cost and high quality production in China through frugal innovation and internal competition from the perspective of global markets buying and adopting and diffusing uh, those uh, uh, the high quality uh, technologies, low cost, high quality energy technologies. So AI is no an exception in terms of uh, frugal innovation in China. Although uh, there, is a, there is a caveat here, which is that rapid scaling and high competition has a lot of uh, drawbacks because when uh, heavy government directed investment is paired with competition at regional and local levels, it can generate significant waste because of frugal innovation. And uh, the professor has quoted the example of China's electric vehicle industry or EV industry, where 200 competing brands have led to overcapacity problem. Another thing which has been discussed as an core component of China's AI ecosystem is the cultivation of robust internal competition. DeepSeek is just one, many, one of many startups emerging from uh, this intense internal competition. Uh, although it was not there on the Huron China AI Enterprise top 50 list in 2024, uh, the list which provides glimpses into China's AI ecosystem beyond the popularly, popularly known tech giants. Um, firms like uh, firms in different parts of China have been discussed or listed in this list. For example, those in Beijing, Shanghai, Zhejiang, and Guangzhou. Um, and he also tells us that how in this, uh, in, through this internal competition, these companies are spread across different geographies. Although Beijing tops uh, this list of 50 companies uh, because there are 20 firms there which are really uh, very high in terms of their innovation uh, and 12 are spread across Guangzhou and Shenzhen. So this diversity of the top AI firms uh, in terms of geography and in terms of industries also industries have been discussed in that uh, article, but because of shortage of time, it may not be possible to go into the details of the industry. But it is a, it is a clear evidence that China is, uh, is developing a competitive internal market and government's policy is playing a vital role in that. Uh, this has led to low prices and mature products. And uh, although uh, the, uh, the US stocks have recovered from the deep, deep seek uh, shock, but the potential of China's AI development runs deeper and China can come up with another market shattering invention or innovation very soon. So we need to pay attention. Businesses and investors need to pay attention to draw lessons from the Chinese growth of its uh, AI ecosystem. Viewers, thank you so much for watching this video on China's ecosystem and how it has been developed over the years intentionally and through steps, especially at the state level, and then encouraging businesses to take risks. As requested earlier, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to take advantage of these interesting videos. Besides these videos, there are many other topics of general interest, current affairs, economic affairs, um, and in, uh, other topics in AI. For example, case studies, which you can watch on our channel. Stay tuned for more. Join tracks.